Hello, everyone. My name is Li Yi from Stanford University, and it's my great pleasure to he here to present our work. I'm going to introduce SyncSpec CNN, Synchronized Spectral CNN for 3D Shape Segmentation. This is a joint work with Hao Su, Xin Wen Guo, and my advisor, Leonidas Guibas. Data lying on generic graphs widely exist in the real world. In many tasks, we are given a, we are given a function lying on a graph, and we need to predict another function on the graph. This could be a segmentation function on a 3D shape graph, or a key point discovery task in social network, or a classification task of molecules. Therefore, designing a deep neural network able to consume large graph data is an important problem. Unlike regular grids, which have a translation structure, a uh, reg uh, regular graph, usually we cannot naturally move a filter across different places, making directly convolving a graph not trivial. Since directly designing spatial filters to convolve an input graph function is not easy, a very smart design from the literature called spectral CNN is proposed. It tries to convert spatial convolution into a simple multiplication operation in the spectral domain. To be specific, graph functions are converted into their spectral representation through Fourier transform first. Then, the spectral representation of the input graph function is multiplied by the, forward, uh, by the spectral filter. According to the convolution theorem, this is equivalent to conducting convolution operation in the spatial domain. We just need to apply another inverse Fourier transform to get the convolution output in the spatial domain. This diagram summarizes the convolution units in spectral CNN. Notice the spectral multiplication filters are the learnable part in analogy to the convolution filters in grid CNN. There are some key drawbacks making spectral CNN not easily applicable to real data. While doing Fourier transform to a graph, we essentially decompose the function as a linear combination of Fourier bases. Fourier bases are independently defined for each graph. For example, the two chair graphs shown here have very different Fourier bases as highlighted by the circles. This means um, if we, uh, the same spectral filter under different spectral bases could correspond to very different spatial filters. This means the spectral filters cannot easily be shared across different graphs. This is a severe issue while dealing with big data containing potentially very different graphs. To tackle this issue, we propose to use basis synchronization. The goal is to align bases of different graphs so that spectral filters could generalize. As stated before, for a basis defined for different graphs could look very different. To align bases between a pair of graphs, we could apply a linear transformation to one set of bases, denoted by sync map C here. A good sync map could align the two set of bases well. Notice how the regions in circle change after synchronization. While dealing with a collection of graphs, we could simply choose a canonical domain and try to use a sync map CI for each set of bases I, aligning them with a canonical domain. To generate sync map, such sync maps, we propose to use a spectral transformer network. The spectral transformer network takes the set of spectral bases as input and outputs the sync map needed. This diagram summarizes the spectral convolution units with basis synchronization. Notice the spectral transformer network could be learned together with the spectral filters in an end-to-end -end fashion. We evaluate our approach on existing part segmentation benchmarks and achieve state-of-the-art performance. Our framework is general enough so we can learn to predict different functions lying on graphs, such as segmentation function and normal function. Some predictions are visualized here. We have released the code and data. Please come to our poster number 19 to learn more. Thank you.